this video, we will look at converting a physical machine into a virtual machine that can be used in Fusion, Workstation or Player using the converter standalone. This video is based on VMware Knowledge Base Article 2005129. To download and install converter on your physical computer, download the VMware vCenter converter standalone from the VMware Download Center. I will use the download manager for the purpose of this video which will start the installation process automatically after the download but alternatively you can select manual download to install manually. Select your language for the installation. I will select all the default options for the purpose of this video. Select local installation for the setup type. After the installation is complete click finish. To convert your physical machine, start the vCenter converter. Click on File and select New. Then Convert Machine. Select Power on Machine as the source type and this local machine for specify the powered on machine. Select VMware Workstation or other VMware Virtual Machine as destination type. And select the VMware product that you would like to run the virtual machine in. You can change the name of the virtual machine if you want. Browse and navigate to the external hard drive or the SMB network share where you want the virtual machine files to be saved and choose a location to save the files in. For the purpose of this video, I will save the files on an external hard drive, but you can do the same using the SMB network share. Click OK. If you want to make adjustments to the partitions that you will be importing, Click the edit button beside the data to copy. If your computer has only one partition or if you wish to convert the entire disk, skip this step. It is worth noting that if your physical machine has a recovery partition, you must deselect this partition. Click next. Click on finish to start the conversion. Once the conversion is complete, if you had selected to save the converted virtual machine files on an external hard drive, you can now disconnect the drive and connect it to the machine running your VMware Fusion, Workstation or Player. For additional details on how to create a new virtual machine using the converted virtual disk files, see the additional information section in the VMware Knowledge Base article 2005129. This concludes our look at converting a physical machine using the converter standalone. For further tutorial videos, be sure to subscribe to our KBTV YouTube channel and our KBTV blog. Thank you for choosing VMware.